skin. In the distance, there is the sound of the sea and the sound of birds. And there's a beautiful, gentle breeze that's just keeping you at the perfect temperature. And that breeze brings all the scents and aromas of that wonderful beach. Because this is the beach of time. And on this beach, time morphs and distorts. It changes and bends. So I'd like you to start walking along this beach. And with each step you take, you find yourself moving towards another place, another time, another life, another body. And as you begin to walk, you feel that warm sand beneath your feet. You hear the sounds, the sea, the warmth of the sun, and that gentle breeze on your skin. And as you continue to walk, Perhaps you can feel your body start to change, start to morph, preparing to find yourself in another turn, another place, another life, and another body. And ahead of you, there is a door that's just standing there on the beach waiting for you. And I don't know what colour this door is, but this is the door that will lead you to another life far from here. And as you get closer to the door, you become aware the details, the colour, and you notice a handle on that door. So just reaching out, take a hold of that handle, turn that handle, and step through the door and close the door behind you and here you find yourself in another place, another time, another life and another body and the longer you stay in this place the more information will come. It's like putting the pieces of a jigsaw together. So just relax and give me a report of what you're aware of in this place. Like a ballroom. Mm. Can you describe this ballroom? Lots of gold. 
Mm. Let God see your lens. I see your lens. Mm. Chandeliers. Mm. Are you the only one there? Or is there other people with you? There's, a, there's other people there. Mm. Can you sense how many people are there? Hundreds. Mm. And if you look down to your feet, what are you wearing on your feet? Like pink satin shoes, like a heel on. It's like um, a brooch on as well, diamond brooch. Mm. And just tune in on that brooch. Can you describe the brooch? Diamonds, sapphires, emeralds and pearls. Mm. Beautiful. And what are you wearing on your body? Can you get a sense of the clothing that you're wearing? A long white dress, different silks on it, and different lace. Mm. And it's tight around the middle. Mm. Like a like a bodice. Do you get a sense of the the occasion that is going on here in this ballroom? Feels like a royal palace. Mm. Beautiful. It's a, a birthday dance. Mm. Are you aware of whose birthday it is? Kings. Mm. And if you take a look down to your hands, what color is the skin of those hands? White, pale white. Mm. And you get a feeling of your age in this body. Sixteen. Mm. Are you aware of your name? Isabella. Beautiful. Do you have any family with you at this dance?
the mother and grandmother. Hmm. And you get a sense of what colour hair you have on this body. Black, relevant. Mm. Interesting name for a color. Is there any reason why I use the word raven? Shiny, like the wings of a raven. Mm. Beautiful. Do you get a sense of what year this is? Sixteen fifty two. Beautiful. So taking a look around this ballroom, is there anything that catches your attention that we need to be aware of from this life? The loneliness. Mm. Tell me more about that loneliness. Everyone's out for themselves. Mm. Why is that? Power, greed, mm. lust. Mm. Do you get a sense if this is a happy body, a happy time in this life? No. Mm. And why isn't this a happy life? My dad's just died and my mum's taken over. I'm isolated. We have to look pretty. Hmm. Mm. 
not allowed to do anything. Mm. Why is that? We have to place the king. Mm. So can you tell me about that king? What does he look like? Dark away the hair, long hair. Mm. Bad breath. Mm. Sorry, it's a change. Change colour. Mm. What colour do they change to? Sometimes they're brown and then they, they can go like a, a, a green colour or dark, like black. Mm. Do you get a sense of why that is? When he feels anger or greed, lust. What colour do the eyes turn to when he feels anger, greed and lust? Black. Mm. So, in a moment, I'm going to count from three to one. And when I reach one, I want you to go to the most important day in this life. Three. Moving there now. Two. And one, and now you arrive at the most important day of this life. Just take all the time you need and tell me what you're aware of. You're like a wood panelled room. Mm. I've just given birth but there's blood everywhere mm. and, and the people around are cruel mm. is it you that's given birth mm, yes mm. did you get an age a sense of age 17. Mm. Are you aware of the father? King. Mm. Is this the same king in the ballroom? Mm. Yes. Mm. So why have we been brought to this day? What's important about this day? Because 
because I die, that I'm free. So would you say that you're near the point of transition currently? Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, what's the feeling you get from this sense of freedom? Back with the stars. Mm. So I'm going to count from three to one. And we're going to move closer to that point of transition just before you leave this life. Three, two, one. And find yourself there now, just before the point of transition from this life. Give me a report and what is it that's making you transition? Infection. <clears throat> mm. Being left too long in pain. Mm. Are you okay midwives, too? midwives don't know what they're doing. Mm. Are you okay to experience this or would you like to move past this point now? I can experience it. Mm. So tell me, is there anybody around you? Three women. Mm. Is there anybody else? Baby. Mm. Is this the baby that's just been born? Mm. Yes. Mm. And is the baby alive? Struggling. Hmm. So once again, I'm just going to count from three to one. And when I reach one, you're going to go past the point of transition, you're going to leave this life. Three, moving there now, two, and one. And you're now on the other side of this life. But you're still connected to this life and we can look over this entire life and as you look over this life I'd like to ask you why were you brought to this life to learn value of self hmm.
And is there any other healing or anything to learn from this life? To make each moment count. Mm. It's a beautiful message for you to take from this life. Did you get a sense of any parallels from this life with your current life you're experiencing now? Mm. Tell me about those parallels. morals and darkness but walking away this time rather than staying mm. but being able to rise from that mm. to find my own way so you've great, gained great strength from this life in mm -hmm. the life that you're currently living and understand that now that you've opened a connection with that life that that connection will remain open and you will have access to much information. There will be learnings, downloads, understandings, and resources from that life. And over the hours and days and the weeks that come, you will receive more information and downloads that will allow you to draw more strength from this life. And now we're going to heal this life and in turn heal any karmic debt or any trapped emotions or any ancestral healing that needs to take place today. So I'd like you to open up a space at the top of your head and visualize a beautiful white light entering the top of the head and allow this white light to filter through the entire body filling every corner every muscle every cell so your whole being is illuminated with this beautiful white light, sending healing to this life we've just seen, healing the karmic debt. And any other elements that need to be healed today. And once your whole body has been filled with this white light, I'd like you to open a space in your heart and allow this light from your heart to spill out across this life, across time, sending healing, loving, forgiveness energy and compassion through the entire experience 
And now you are set free. And you can f learn from this life. You can draw on the lessons and the strength from this special experience. And now I'd like you to just visualize two angels coming down to you. And they're going to begin to lift you up and take to a beautiful place. A place between lives. A place where you plan your next incarnation. And feel their strength and love as they guide you there. To the place in which decisions are made. Soul contracts are forged with our soul families. So just find yourself there now. In this wonderful place. Tell me what you're aware of. Trees. Mm. There's fruit on the trees that we can absorb. Mm. And how do we absorb this fruit? We smell it. Mm. healing it's not like the food here it's healing mm. and how does this fruit heal nourishes comforts mm. Brings joy. Use all of your knowing and move closer to a piece of that fruit on those trees. Can you describe what this fruit looks like? Like a star sparkles and it's lit up. Mm. Beautiful. How would you describe it? Would you describe it as like an energy? energy and physical mm. are you aware of anyone else around you any other energies of wise people mm. yes you are mm. are you able to communicate with any of those people
Allah'ım. Hmm. Are they saying anything to you now in this place? I'm so never left. Mm. Trying to get people to go back to help. Mm. Something dark's coming. Mm. It's been building for some time. They want us to push it back. Mm. You get a sense of how we can push that darkness back. To love. We have to go down and clear our karma really quick mm. to become aware when you can assist. Mm. Is there any other messages from those souls around you? Show me an earthquake, but I don't know if it's symbolic. Mm. So there's much healing to take place yes. in, in this location. However, we have one more journey to make today. Are we going to commune with your higher self? 